Welcome to Monday Night's Tilton Talk Show, sponsored by Boyle Sports, the principal sponsor of Birmingham City Football Club. And in conjunction with Cafe to You, Munch's Cafe, SAS Autos and Borsley Labour Club. This is aired on All Good Blues Facebook sites tonight, live and repeated tomorrow on Switch FM 107.5 DAB. And that's at 8pm. What a great win for the Blues on Saturday with Drew, Jude Bellingham not only getting the winner but himself also onto the score sheet in the second game in a row. He's that young, he nearly broke his own record. And happy Enkelman Day, everybody. It's Enkelman Day. Memories? All got them. Happy Enkelman Day. Now, as I wrote on Facebook the other day, um, <laughs> we have to be careful, you know, what we're saying and one thing or another. Statistics, I don't give them the time of day. I'll talk about that very shortly. This is Brown. We've had a busy day decorating the kitchen. <laughs> uh, no, it's a, it's a very, very nice shade of grey, actually. But anyway, as always, strap yourselves in, guys. Get ready for the world's one and only Tilt and Talk show. So a very uh, happy Enkelman Day to each and every single one of you, and welcome to you, Mr. Fun. Good evening. And Mr. Sheen. Good evening. And Mrs. Brown. Good evening. And for myself, of course, good evening. Now, we've been blessed today, blessed with um, some tins of CBD drink. There you go, on sale at St. Andrews. One for you. Thank you. Um, one for you, Mrs. Brown. I don't, I don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And uh, one for me. Now, I think we ought to start these off at the, at the very start of the show, don't you? Because C- Chris has kindly put three, what are they called? <laughs> tea cakes? Oh, tea cakes. Three caramel tea cakes down for us if we get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. It's all right, isn't it? It's not bad. It's not bad. Mm. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? Mm, very. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. It's not what I thought it was. I, I thought it was going to be a little bit kind of like a, a Red Bull kind, but it's not. No. Kind of wouldn't know. I've never tried either. It's almost got a taste yeah, of yeah. tea about it, slightly. It's quite nice. Like a, f- like nice. a fruit tea. It's quite pleasant, isn't it? Would, that, would you agree with that? Was that a bit controversial? Oh, Try your own. <laughs> Try your own on Saturday. <laughs> okay, here we go then. Uh, oh, wow, what a great winner that was on Saturday. Fantastic. Uh, um, Jude Bellingham again, 16 years old, on the score sheet for the second game in a run. That's going to do his confidence an absolute tower of good. Yeah. You go. Yeah, well, the, the whole team, every one of them to a man, um, you know, fought for the result. You know, when we were under pressure, every single one of them was, you know, just basically playing as a whole unit defensively, and we were just much more of a threat away from home going forward this time mm-hmm. as well. So the whole, the, the the overall team performance was excellent. Every every single one of them, um, excellent performance. And Maxime Colin at right back was like Superman, especially going forward. Just reminded me of Stephen Carr, like the way he was bombing down that right and causing them problems. Yeah, and they just couldn't cope with it. Cracking when he did it. Love it. Great to be sat here with another win under about, isn't it, mister? It is. Three points um, off the top of the league. Yes. Who would have thought it? Four wins, from, four wins from seven games, I think yeah, it is. So yeah. um, you can't really, you know, like you say, we've, we haven't really hit, doesn't feel like we've hit second slash third gear yet. Um, and we're, we're four four wins from seven. Um, you know, the, like I said, so the results, you can't fault one bit. Um, perform. And when when you're picking up the results, when the performances aren't quite there, um, I think that that gives you something to work on. You, you, you go to training that you know the guys will be going into training knowing knowing that there's there's stuff to work on still. Mm. But actually, it's much better to work on things for, from a from a base of you know, especially on Saturday where we we go to we go to a side that have started the season really well, um, have been scoring goals. I think they've scored in every game. This uh, was the first time they hadn't scored in a game this season. So, um, and they've out- broken their unbeaten record as well. Were they twenty unbeaten at home? Is something right? like going something into last season. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's, you know, sure along come it? the Blues, eh? Sure about <laughs> that? I think that's. I think it was quite, that's it was quite, quite considerable, mate. Yeah, somebody will tell us. I thought they lost in the uh, playoff. 
semi final in the home maybe game. League games, but um, maybe possibly. Um, but yeah, yeah. So you know, as as we were saying, for them for them to be going into training, knowing that there's stuff to be working on, but actually you've you've dug in and and you know, especially on Saturday away from home, got a clean sheet, another goal for for uh, for Bellingham, and you know, the, the, there's things to work on, but. We're working on them from, <laughs> a, on from a very good yeah. base, yeah. Yeah. rather than rather than you know the the Forest and Swansea games where you go into training and you've got to pick yourself. And up you're again. thinking, okay, we're under we're under a bit of pressure here. Mm. Actually, you go into training, okay, you know we can improve in this area, in this area, but actually we've picked up another three points. So mm. you know, let's go into training with a smile on our face and, and mm. work on these things. Mm. I think. Obviously, I'll go back to the start of last season. I think this is the opposite to that, isn't it? Last season, we were playing ever yeah, so well. a little bit, yeah. We were playing ever so well last season, and we weren't quite getting the we results. We were playing okay. Yeah, Swansea at home again, and Forest away, and we were the lead away, yeah. and Baggies at home. Them sort I think of games. ever so well is a bit, is a bit over the top. We think, played okay. We, we certainly, I think the thing that's fair to say is we certainly didn't get as many points as we deserved. We deserved, in, yeah. In the start of the season. So you're right in that sense that maybe, you know, maybe we did get a little bit fortunate. Um, at home to Stoke, away to Brentford, uh, away to Brentford possibly. Um, yeah. yeah, but yeah, we are. We've got thirteen points from twenty-one, and you can't knock yeah, that at all. It's a that's the only it, stat. It's that a really good base. Thing. It's yeah. a really good base to work off. Yeah, absolutely. Much better than last. You know, like I said, last season we, we you think back to that Leeds game and mm. um, where, where we finally did get the three points and. Mm. Um, yeah, every every game was becoming really, really important then. Mm. That actually we had to turn those yeah. results uh, performances into results. Yeah. Whereas actually now we're picking up the results. So if you can if you can keep improving those performances, I think certainly the performance on Saturday was was a was a vast improvement. Obviously, you know, a, a world away from from the last couple of away games, Swansea yeah. and Forest. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, know, you keep improving bit by bit. You know, with every game, um, but also keep picking up those results along the way, and 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 you'll be in good stead. Mm. Yeah, and and Camp made a couple of important saves as well at crucial times. Uh, the one one was very one good, one low down. down. Yeah, that was one a very, very good save. You know, he was he was going the wrong way and he had to get back down yeah. low to his side. So, yeah, um, yeah, that was an excellent save. Mm. Um, you know, but I think that the back four again were. Were very good. Yeah. Um, as I said on the show before, I think Colan in the side means it's a back four. Yeah. Hard when when Colan was out was the only time we went to the back five. Mm. Um, so I think I think certainly Colan Colan in the side means it's a back four, which um, I, I think what it does is it allows a little bit of flexibility and and freedom for the for the forward men. Mm. Um. If you can get that to click, then we've we've got a good chance. Mm. Yeah. I've got to say uh, thanks to Lee from Cafes to You Solly Hall yep. for supplying these Cheers, uh, Green Monkey CBD drinks. They are actually very pleasant. I'm quite enjoying that. Mm. It's okay, yeah. yeah. Proper nice that is. It's all right, yeah. man. And I'm quite fussy on stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, man. Uh, also, going to say a, a <laughs> shout out to Callum S- Patrick. Sweet, yeah, Callum. Man. <laughs> yeah. Callum has supported the Blues since 2009-2010 uh, season and he's going to his very first ever away game on the coach to Derby enjoy it's a great day out mate it's, it's a great day out it's just a picture that the rip off merchants at Derby want to charge 33 quid for the tickets but that's another story mm. Mm. yeah um, so another three points bagged then um, three yep. points off the top of the division yeah um, what's happening this is not real we never do this at the beginning of the season we never kind of in a position where we're celebrating and and, yeah. and, and you know almost having fun yeah yeah well yeah it's, it's the yeah. best start it's our best start since 2008 <coughs> isn't it? Mm-hmm. 2008 was the last time we started this well so it's been a long time coming but it's nice to see you know picking up the results you know not, not obviously performance is always good as well to watch when it's good but the most important thing for me is the result at the end when that absolutely yeah works. yeah but uh, please 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 give pep the job Give him the title. Give him the job. Mm. Give him the title. He's got the job, hasn't he? Give, yeah, give him, give him the title. Give him the official backing. Yeah. Um, you know, but um, yeah. As I said, it, it was always going to take time. Um, you know, the the players were always going to have to going 
gonna have to work to you know to get used to each other this that and the other yeah um you know learn 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 the intricacies the the little idioms about about each other um you know and, and at times it, it, it's clear that it's it's getting there you know Johnny, the, yeah 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 you know, he is getting there, and, and but what we must not do is put our expectations up too high. No, all right. I agree. We've got to be realists. Yeah. We, we are Birmingham City. We're a work in progress. So much has gone on. So much has changed. Um, you know, we can't be in a situation where we think we're just going to romp the league and be done with no, it. No where, where, but who, the... Mark Andrew Adams says, "Could we be a dark horse for the playoffs?" It's too early, isn't it, to say? I think. I mean, played seven games. It'd be nice. If anybody, to be... if anybody's thinking of anything other than Preston at home, mm. then you're kidding yourself. Well, so we have seen that. we have seen some encouragement. We'll address stuff. this a little later on in the season, then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Address it in Feb. Mm-hmm. I think that's the only time you can start. You know, because teams teams will go and and spend in January. Um, so it's let's have a look. Because if we were this far, all our games. Yeah. Oh, could could you imagine? We would have like? been. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, is it too early? Is it, it is too early. early. It's, of course it's too yeah, early. Yeah, because there's yeah. still plenty of time to stay up if that happened yeah. as well. We've been in that boat before, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. So and stayed it up. Feels so. like we, say it, we say it most seasons, yeah. but... Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I suppose it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a little dream in the back of your head, isn't it? You know what I mean? Well, could I think, we? You could know, we? The, could but we? But that's just... The, it's... it's you know, without one, is play party poop or whatever. There's, there's, there's absolutely, <laughs> you do every week. Go on, by the way, no I'm, just, I'm just really, really pleased to report that my house didn't burn down last week. Oh, Thank well, you very you're much. Fortunate, I think, well done. I think for me, Gary Gary Gardner was one of our best players last season, and he can't get in the team now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, and that to me tells me that we have Im- we have improved. You know, from last season, um, and I think I am seeing some encouraging signs amongst this squad and these players that we've got. We've got a good team spirit there, and if we can stay in touch round about where we are now come sort of January, <laughs> you know, then we can add maybe another striker, spend a bit more money, whatever we've got, that we can spend, um, and make a couple of improvements in a couple of areas, then who knows, we could maybe... Well, listen to this, right? I was listening to but Talk Sports it's on it's Saturday it's afternoon, yeah. right? And there was a Wolves fan on there calling for Nuno's head. Right, oh, he was, he was nearly crying. He was nearly crying. Yeah. I don't, not that I care, but like, yeah, but it just shows how fickle that can be, doesn't irrelevant. it? You know? Yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, let's... The, the, there's no point in even... And even dwelling on on what could happen come May, you know we've no. we've we've gone to Charlton and and, and picked up a, a one a fantastic one 0 win. Mm. Let's let's enjoy the fact that we're picking up results at the start of the season. Yeah, let's enjoy the fact that we're you know performances are picking up. We mm. look we look like we're more more solid than we were three weeks ago. This that and the other, and let's go to Preston with with a bit of. You know, a bit of optimism and and hope for the same again, and and then we go to Derby and hope for the same again, and yeah. and then, like I said, come come December time, let's see where we are, let's see if it's worth having a having a punt in January and seeing what we could do in January, mm. and then come the end of Feb, let's see where we are then, see where we are and then, then we yeah. can start saying, okay, who's in and around us, yeah. what are we doing, how are the players playing, what are our injuries like, mm. let's yeah. see if we can have a go. That's the business end of the season. <clears throat> uh, Jez wrote a few minutes ago, I think we are starting to gel well, so in a few weeks, uh, after a few weeks, more more games, it'll be scary to see what this team can do. Mm. I like that, mm. quite like that. Yeah. The, p- the potential certainly there. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I, I, I don't think anybody's suggesting that we're, you know, we're, we're breaking breaking the door down and and battering teams and and looking absolutely monstrous at the moment. But no, but we're you know we're getting there slowly but surely. It, it was always going to take it's always going to take fifteen to twenty games before you started seeing an actual oh, proper representation of of this side. Yeah. Um, and as Chris Woodley said, uh, get to 50 points before we worry about the playoffs. Yeah. With an exclamation mark after it. Kind of agree. Let's just get to Preston. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Preston on Saturday and see yeah. what happens. Yeah. 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 Mark Yates seems to think that Puskas wants to leave Reading. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, Dale McQuillan. Everybody wants to leave Reading. Yeah. Have you ever been to Reading? Yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? Well, nobody David. wants to be in Reading. Like and from Dan McQuillan, uh, playoffs one game at a time. There's a long, long road ahead this season, but on the current side, Blues... Oh, I can't see it now because he just turned it off. <laughs> Blues are in position. That's what, that's what it is, yeah. Well, we're in eighth position, aren't we? Same we point. Eighth. Yeah, we joint fourth joint, though as well. Joint fourth, aren't we? On points. But... We've got 13 points. That's yeah. all we need to look at. Yeah. You know, the, the position is, yeah. is irrelevant because... 
three defeats and we'll be <coughs> 18th and we mind eight. So yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. you know, we've, we've got 13 points on the board. Let's go to Preston on Saturday. Yeah, you know, Homer to Preston on Saturday, and let's see. Yeah, and as I wrote on Facebook the other night uh, to reply to uh, somebody who had uh, commented on there, I don't give stats a time of day. The only thing is, it's another more, uh, three more points on the board, yep. almost a third of the way from relegation. Keep right on being sung just before the final whistle. Blues fans travelling home happy after spending the money. Mm. Potentially a bigger, noisier home crowd at the next game. Sky Supercomputer, which had us down for relegation, can be firmly placed where they want it to be. Radio West Midlands being shocked that we are on the same points as the baggies. Uh, happy weekend in my house. It's all good stuff, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all good stuff. Yeah. Mm. Blimey. At least and you've still got a house. Which didn't burn that's down, the, <laughs> thankfully. That's, that's the main positive side <laughs> for me, isn't it? So, um, I don't suppose yours even had a small smoulder in it, did it? No. No, no. No. It's you didn't even cold as ice, on mine. No. <laughs> But I, I must say, I see so much potential in Jude Bellingham. I mean, he does look very good, doesn't he? He's, you know, obviously he's got to keep his feet on the ground and take each game at a time, a bit like we were just talking about with the whole team. But for me, he does look a real prospect. You know, OK, and Ray seems to think the Blues might be introducing McEachern on Saturday to the crowd. OK. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? I think it's a, it's a, it's a cracking sign and if it can happen. Mm. I think, I genuinely think he walks straight into... I think he walks straight into the side, right? Personally, but um, yeah, if if he if if he's fully fit, um, you know, and he's ready to give it a good go this season, if he's got a point to prove, mm. I think it's a I think it'd be a magnificent bit of business. Mm. Mm. Yeah, uh, Dave Tolly doesn't like it when you talk sense. Well, you best get used to it, Dave, because it, it happens really often, far too often. That's all we're getting, is it? It's it's basically every every two minutes, <laughs> sense after sense after sense. You can just so feel the excitement coming you off just, your tongue, yeah. It's just something people have got to get used to. Hmm. Uh, did love Ray's comment uh, over the weekend, which was Marabti's endeavour to put the ball in the danger area, Bellingham's gamble and determination to get that ball and fire home. And the start of that was Colin's strength to go past two of the opposition and slide in Marabti. Yeah. Keep right on. Loved Excellent it. goal. Loved it. Really good goal. It was a brilliant goal. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Colin's movements made it. It's his bravery, you know, and, and actually I think this is, you know, a lot of people get carried away and um, you know, overshadow, I think. I think you're looking at, when they say Pep's being forced to play this way that the owners won't play, I don't think it's a particular brand of football. I don't think it's a particular style of football they want. They just want to see a little bit of a little bit of bravery, a little bit of excitement, a little bit more endeavour at times. Yeah. And yeah. and that's exactly what we had from Max on Saturday um, with the goal. You know, it, it could it would have been easy to play it back across the back and and go again, but actually he's seen the gap and he's gone for it. Um, mm. and his movement has created the space. Marabti's movement is good out wide. Um, I think Bellingham, you said about Bellingham. Yeah. Um, the thing that impresses me, well, the main thing that impresses me about the kid, he's 16 years old. Absolutely. He yeah, talks yeah. like he's a 30-year-old. Yeah. Um, th the last thing I'm concerned about is Jude Bellingham going off the rails because I think, you know, he's got a, he's got a brilliant family. Um, and he just... You just when he speaks, yeah. Um, you can see how much it means to him to play for Blues. The last thing, like I said, the last thing I'm concerned about is him, is him not making it because, you know, his character, everything about his character and his personality seems absolutely magnificent. And I think there's no issue there whatsoever. Mm. Um, from a footballing perspective, the thing that impressed me most is he's playing in a position that's a bit new to, you know he's learning that position mm. um he's learning his de defensive responsibilities but actually when that ball gets out to Marabti <coughs> there was no headless chicken it was a calm calculated run perfectly timed into the box and and the finish into the back of the net um you know and I'm not going to I'm not going to go over the top but that sort of run mm. you know perfectly he, he knew exactly when he had to make that move into the box. He knew exactly what, you know, he stride so it'd land on his right foot perfectly. Yeah. Um, 
that sort of thing is not you don't coach that no. you know that's that's just that's Natural just ability. your, your yeah. footballing brain yeah. that I've got to arrive here at this time um mm. you know and, and he, he did it magnificently and you know if he can keep doing that obviously when the ball's out wide as well you know Charlton centralves seeing the ball out wide will be like right we need to we need to make sure this isn't going on Duke's head. Mm. And as it's pulled back, you can see both. You know they're they're, they're concerned about where Duke is because the last thing they want to do is give him room <coughs> in the box. You know if the ball comes in in the air, and and you know as I said, Duke's run is is wonderful. Mm. Um, it's getting a dangerous partnership, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah, and, and I think it's something that can develop and um, and blossom as well. And you know, like I said, Jude. He's sixteen. He, he he'll have games where he he fritters in and out. Yeah, yeah. you know. But yeah. absolutely, mm. you know. Otherwise, he'll be if if he doesn't, he'll be at Barcelona or Real Madrid in three years for a hundred and odd million. So, but going back to how he handles the media and, and how he talks the game, that is testament to uh, everybody at the youth academy squads and, and this it's testament to a lot of people. Him, yeah, yeah. Nurtured him through. Yeah, and uh, you know, but the biggest an, an the biggest credit should always be the player, an absolute potential star in the making. Yeah. Mm. Possible, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's, he's he's just got it. It's just natural. Yeah, it's just yeah. I agree. Kit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Chris Woodley's just said Morabti made us look a lot less one paced up top, which I agree with. Yeah, that extra injection of pace that Morabti brought into the team did make us a lot better going forward. Uh, it was quicker. Some, it was some, like I said. It was I've said before. It was something they were working on in in pre season. He was the one. Yeah, that would be. The most advanced supporting Duke in pre season. Yeah. Um, obviously, he got his injury, which, which didn't help. Magoma got his injury as well. So, you know, it, was, it might have been forced on, on Pep a little bit the, to play the way he wanted to play. But we, we won't play the same system every game. You know, we, it wouldn't surprise me if we went back to. No, we're not a one trick pony. It, it no? wouldn't surprise me if we went back to Duke and Jimenez up front together at Preston because mm. the onus is, is on us a bit more to yep. to go after the game a little bit but yeah yeah the fact you know like you say the, the fact that we've got options mm. um we we we've got different ways to play but actually it's the mindset and the mentality that okay we you know we we're going to be we're going to be happy to have the ball we we're going to be happy to to commit a few players forward yeah um you know so whatever the whatever the system whatever the 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 front four if you like or the or the you know the two and the wide men however it is panned out you know that that same mentality that same footballing philosophy has to be there and I think that's that's the key difference that you'll see from last season mm. rather than you know we're going to pass it around and keep the ball for half hour and have eighty odd percent possession I think it's just the the mentality that that mm. actually we you know we're we're we're, we're going to be happy to to try and keep the ball and we're going to be happy to, to go at teams mm. rather than say we're going to wait until we get the ball back and we'll just get it forward as quickly as possible and again uh, it's a testament to Pep and his coaching staff and, yeah. his, and the skills that they've, they've um, you know uh, pushed into the players uh, the last time this was attempted it failed miserably right mm. um, this time it's it's kind of starting to work mm. well, uh, it's early days early it's, days you know, we've got results I'll talk to you back in February <laughs> yeah we've got but, but we've got results from it. <clears throat> yeah, you know, we're, we're picking up results, which obviously is is the crucial thing at the moment. Mm. Yeah. Do we know what happened to Bialba? By the way, did he pick up a knot before? I think he picked up a knot, didn't he? And he had to miss the whole match day squad. Yeah, he wasn't in the squad, was he? I no, don't think no, so. No. Um, yeah, but that might that might be just a young kid from Spain who's who's come in. You know, he, he's played most of this season, hasn't he? Yeah. It might just have been a case of right, we're away from home against a side that have started well. Let's go with what we know. Um, you know, a, a good chance. Morabti's back in the squad, so a good chance for be able to, to you know, take a week off, take stock, have a work, have, you know, have a rest, work on work on a few things in training, and mm. you know, I'm I'm sure we'll see him again at some point, probably on Saturday. Mm. As I said, in a home game where you might just need that added bit of ingenuity and creativity. Mm-hmm. Be an interesting game on it now then. Now we've got that one about. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they're not a bad side either, are they, Preston? They started the season well as well. Um, I'm not sure where they are. Um, they've, think... they've got the same record as us. Four wins, Yeah. one, def- one draw, two defeats. Mm. But all those four wins have been at home. Okay. So they haven't won away from home yet. Um, so let's let's see what they... 
Yeah, they'll, they'll they'll be wanting to turn that round on Saturday. Obviously, mm-hmm. they'll want they'll want to continue their <coughs> their positive start to the season in terms of results. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what they come with. Um, the other the other important thing to think on about the Preston game is the Tuesday after they've got Man City at home in the capital, uh, in the Carabao Cup. Okay. So whether whether there's <laughs> one eye on you know, you hope even just. We've got green one screens or two, again. <laughs> even just one or two percent, um, you know, in in the heads of the Preston players. Yeah. You know, obviously they'll they'll be desperate to to be playing against Man City. Yeah. If, if they could drop one or two percent, um, mm. then let's see we what find what we can do with them. Mm. Address commented a few minutes ago. Just turning in, lads. So sorry if this has been covered already. I wanted uh, I wasn't at the game, but was at Forest and Swansea. Could you tell by the way we set up that Pep knew? We needed to attack more. How did Charlton compare to Forest and Swansea? I don't think they're as good. I just certainly don't think they're as good as Forest and Swansea. Mm-hmm. Um, players available to them, obviously, um, Lyle Taylor, who's been their goal scorer this season, he wasn't in the squad due to injury, which was which was a big boost for us. But um, yeah, I think I just think it's you know we're working on things. Obviously, Forest Forest we conceded relatively early on, and and it wasn't great from then. Swansea, we we held out for 50, 55 minutes. Looked defensively okay, mm. but obviously offered very little going forward. Um, whereas whereas this time we at Charlton, we you know kept that defensive resoluteness, um, had a little bit more going forward. The big thing, especially away from home, is the goal. You you get the goal um, and the noise from that crowd, unreal. Yeah, oh well, god, that was just that was stunning. That was beautiful. A sellout blues away following is. You know, he's, yeah. he's always it's going natural. to make noise, isn't he? It's so, natural. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we created other good chances as well, didn't we, before we scored? Yeah, I mean, Duke Roberts, had a couple, yeah. Yeah, Roberts, yeah. Roberts yeah. had a good chance as well. Um, so, you know, that that's what encourages me. is Because in, in the Swansea and Forest games, we didn't really offer no, much, you, you, much at all. You could you could throw a hat over every every time we got the ball in, in the opponent's half in those games. So. Exactly, yeah. So it's a um, massive, massive improvement from them two games. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. As I say... We're, we're gonna. <coughs> I, I don't mean this massively disrespectfully to Charlton, but you know, the reality is they they've had a good start to the season. But I think it's it's that ride in the wave of of promotion last season that that's helped them. Yeah. Um, you know, people might have taken them a little bit a little bit lightly. They haven't done a great deal of of transfer activity over the summer. So, um, but yeah. So I, I think Swansea and Forest. Both of those sides are considerably better than Charlton. Yeah, and I, I think we will have away games where where teams will will have joy against us because we're not we're not the best team in the league. So no, um, and that's that's the that's the that's the way of the championship. If you like, that's mm. that's just what happens. But um, yeah, de- defensively, defensively look very good. Um, you know, it, that's got better. That side of it's got better. And the attacking intent side of it has got better. So, mm-hmm. uh, Kev Kelly, thanks for this one. Villarba has tightened muscles following training, so Pep took no risks with him, and a scan showed no damage. Uh, good information. Thank you. He'll, very be, much, he'll be back very soon then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies' news this week. Women, sorry. Yeah, um, v- very similar story, if you like to. Um, to the start of last season, if you, really, um, we played okay. West Ham away this weekend. Um, played okay. We we look like we're, you know, again a, a summer of upheaval. So it's you got new players coming in, especially in the front line. Um, new players coming in, learning to learning to get used to what what their teammates are doing. Um, but it's it's just not clicking up top at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not it's not dreadful. I, th- I you know put on Twitter last night. Um, you know I've, I've seen a couple of people saying they switched it off after fifteen minutes because it's rubbish and they're sick of it. And then another person was saying this side is easily top four quality once it clicks. You know I think there's a middle ground. Um, we'll be I think we'll be okay. I don't think we'll we'll be in any relegation trouble come the end of the season, but it needs to click. Um, the unfortunate thing for us is that we've played we've played Everton at home and West Ham away. It were both for me bang average sides. Um, 
but because we haven't because we're not there because it's very new to us still and we're still learning and we're still trying to get get that philosophy into, mm -hmm. into gear and uh, and the system into you know learning which players are going to be best I don't think she knows her best team yet um, because we're not quite there yet you know we've dropped points against teams that you know I, I think we should be we should be points again. We should yeah. be yeah. above come the end of the season, mm -hmm. and you hope that you know those games that don't come back to bite us towards the end of the season. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I, much like much like the Blues men's side, it, it's gonna it's gonna take time. Um, we need to be patient with it. Um, Bear in mind, we've had a lot more games, and we're starting to settle now, though. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, the the women's <coughs> Super League is. Um, 12 teams so it's you know it's it's a 22 league game season rather than 46 so mm -hmm. you know you lose your first two and you've only got 20 left so um, yeah I see that but yeah so the, the sooner obviously it sounds obvious but the sooner the uh, the sooner they click into gear the, the better mm -hmm. um, and you hope that they can start picking up points because much like the, the men's side if, you, if you're picking up points when you're still learning it will give you confidence, and you know, to to keep going and and trust what you're doing. So that you know, if they can pick up, um, if they can pick up a few points in the next three games, then then it all confidence will start to build, and hopefully we'll we'll get there. Interjection. Uh, this week's three word review winner was Matt Phipps with Jude the Gem. Simple, Jude the Gem. Simple as that. Jude the gem, simple as that. Siobhan Kenny Preston a fifth in the table, and although above us, I'm going with a 2 0 win for the Blues with Bellingham Duke on the score sheet. Lovely. Crikey. And Ian Stark, guys, any views on that ref? It was a bit of a strange decision to send Bowler off, wasn't it, really? Mm. A little bit of handbags. Wasn't Just it? a bit of a ruckus, wasn't it? It's yeah, nothing major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pep got yeah. booked, didn't he? Pep mm. got booked, yeah. He said he'd check the book in. Because they were accusing us of time wasting, weren't they? Holding onto the ball or. Yeah. <laughs> but it's. But isn't that what the fourth official's there for to add more time on? Well, but it's game management. And this is some. Yeah, you know, this is some of that we were rubbish at last season. <laughs> you know, you never. We could have been three. Well, we were. We were four nil up at QPR, and never. You know, and we only just managed to to hold on to the win. Yeah. We, game management. We we've been rubbish at. Um, I think a lot of people don't like seeing it, but everybody does it. So. Mm. I, you know, I almost want to see that petulance. I almost want to see us go down with a car strain when when the ball's knocking around our area. You know, so the referee has to stop it. And I want I want us to get the crowd frustrated, and I want us to get their bench frustrated because you know the, the if we're ahead, waste as much time as you can because I, I want to see that game management. I want so to the see philosophy is if you're going to cheat, cheat fairly. Well, no, you're not. You're not cheating. <coughs> you know, you you just well, it's it's game management. You you're seeing the game out. If, you're, if you're faking an injury, I think you're cheating. It's a new word for it. Um, yeah, you know, holding your face or define faking an injury. Well, if you're going down, if, old... you, if you've if you've played eighty five minutes of football, I'm sure somewhat on your body's going to be sore. Well, so make the most of it. Mm. Say say you know, well, every, every, everybody does it. Yeah. Everybody does it. Yeah, no, Stoke no, were doing it. Stoke were doing yeah. it uh, to us, mm. you know, and the, absolutely ca countless times last season. Yeah, you know, but uh, that Bolton game at home, <coughs> as soon as they scored, that was it. I don't think uh, the ball must have been in play yeah. for four minutes after that. Yeah. Um. So you know, right, let, let's make the most of it. Yeah. We've mm. picked up the three points at the end of the day. That's all that matters. You know, That's uh, all that matters. We, obviously. You you want you want to keep keep the ball for as long as you can, but if you're under the cosh, mm. you know, and they're chucking the kitchen sink at you, mm. then make make the most of every opportunity you can. Okay, <laughs> because everybody does it. They do. You're dead right. Everybody and if, it, and yeah. if you think that you've we've we've got better morals uh, than no, everybody you else, know what, you know what, and they equalise in the last minute. Do you know what's funny about it? Let's though? let's see when how they, much when your comes morals are two points. It. We go absolutely mental. Yeah. Right? And then when we're doing it, we, we think it's funny. But that's the point, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but that's you've got to give these teams a taste of their how, own medicine. How do, how do we feel when teams do it down St Andrews? We're absolutely raging at them. Yeah. So, so, in, and so we know what it feels like mm. to have that done to us. 
you know, and it can dis- it disrupts the rhythm of the game. Mm. The flow goes, you know, all impetus that the home side has goes completely. Mm. So let's let's do that. Let's do that more. Mm. Okay, Alex Sheldon. Personally, I think Bellingham should be on the bench next game. It's been a hectic week for him with the under-16 England matches and can't afford for him to burn out. Pep needs to use when he is fresh. I think at 16, you're pretty fresh, aren't you? He's got a week's rest now, hasn't he? He's very fresh. <laughs> you are. There's that, there's that intensity of it, though, obviously. Yes, there is, yeah. And, he, and, and to captain England at 16. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, um, man. What a week for him, eh? He's, huh? a re- he's a real, real scored talent. on his he's... debut, scored in front of the yeah. tilt, and yeah. on his full debut, scored in front of the tilt, and captain England, and then scored the following week. Boom! Have that. Yeah. Have I think. That. I think. I think at the moment, you, you know, like you said, he, he'll be so high at the oh, moment. God, you yeah, know, yeah, riding yeah. cloud, you know, oh, yeah. on top of the clouds. So run with it. I, I would, I would, I would give him another go. On Saturday, I'd be surprised um, if he's not playing. If it's very evident that you know that intensity, that that sharpness is, is waning a little bit, then that's the time to take him out for a couple of games. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. at the moment, you you know the the kids, the kids absolutely flying. So yeah, you know, give him the ball and say go and do stuff, do so. Mm. Yeah, everybody's of the same opinion. If you can't beat them, join them. On the uh, everybody does it. Time wasting, should we say? Yeah, everybody does it. All right. It's always happened. Uh, got to exactly. <laughs> yeah, don't don't yeah, yeah. pretend that it's, it's some that has been crept in, crept into the game for the last ten minutes, uh, ten no. ten years or so. No, it's not. It's been going off forever. Yeah. Mm. Okay, got to mention my sister Pat. Uh, bless her. Uh, they had a day in Shipston, a Pink Ladies Day in Shipston on Stella, and uh, it's basically a day that has been happening for the past five years in Shipston. It's organised by Pam and Julie, amazing ladies. It started at 12.30 for drinks and an amazing three-course meal. Uh, raffle, shoot, marry, snog game, where pictures of celebs are shown. Greasy Grealish came up. Chap, who was doing it, is a huge supporter. Charlie and myself, Stella, automatically started the song. <laughs> which, which, which... We love... We love British. No, 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 no. Something on the villa. And um, several others joined in. Obviously, he was shot. <laughs> uh, then a band played, then a disco, then there was a huge amount of alcohol, drank kits for ladies, uh, though men could come after six, and all men volunteered to serve at the tables and the main bar. It was an amazing day, and I feel poorly today, but it was all for good cause. Cancer research. They haven't tallied it up yet, but there were over 200 ladies present. And I'm sure she'll tell me when they do uh, tally it up how much, how much they've earned. So well done, girl. Well done. Well done. Well well done. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And while we're in that vein, um, a blues for all uh, and accessing blues, we need to congratulate them. Well, wish them luck, really, in Friday's um, Oh, yes, awards. yes, of course, so, yeah, yeah. 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 That's so, come around quick again, hasn't it? It's the fans for diversity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so good luck there. A blues for all in the championship category. Accessing blues are in the free kicks category as part of Allies in Action. More details on football sports Association website. There you are. Good luck, guys. Good luck, each and every single one of you. Uh, Martin Swinscoe, camp is the best at wasting time. He's a master craftsman. With, with the dive forward, you make. Yeah. It's brilliant. I love to watch it. It's you so you love to watch that, but we're questioning no, well, I'm everything just, else. I'm just questioning your morals and your standards. That was. I have absolutely <laughs> zero morals. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where, where is the room for morals? <laughs> Goodness me. Love it, love it. Also, I've got to say thank you to Richard um, Golding. Massive, Richard, massive, Richard Golding yeah, yeah, massive, um, for yeah. purchasing the shirt. I think that was delivered to him today by yeah. your good self. Yeah. And the tally amount reached was 300 and over pounds. 320 pounds? Or something something like that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, and that's, that's all for the BHST team, yeah. Birmingham Homeless Support Team. Now, have a look outside your windows. It's dark, right? It's miserable. It's dank. Uh, these guys need sleeping bags, boots, yeah. shoes, socks, woolies, hats. Winter's coming. Gloves. Any toiletries that you can possibly think of. Um, that's for ladies and as well as men. Yeah. And you can drop those off at Borsley Labour Club. You can drop those off with Mrs. Brown, who you've got at the facility. Mm. And also at the Conservative Club in Chelmsley Wood. Okay. 
So those are the three strategic drop-off points that the, the, that stuff can be sent to. So if you've got anything, please, 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 now is the time of year to start gathering it together, bagging it up and getting it off to these guys so that they can distribute it out to those who are less fortunate than ourselves. Thank you. Happy Enkelman Day, everybody. I just thought that's... And also to you. Uh... Oh, oh, thanks. I'm overcome with emotion. <laughs> <laughs> You are actually. Oh, today. What's today? Yeah, what's today? today? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lindsay Phillip, my lads, 15 trains on Saturdays, plays a full 90 minute game on Sunday, sometimes goes Power League both days and does GCSE PE five days a week. Jude's good playing with a few days rest, they're young, with a big smiley face. <laughs> yeah. And mm. um, Bick Singh, thank you, gents. VAR. He knows what I mean. <laughs> Uh, uh, Super Six, I'd like to talk about Super Six because I believe that I'm actually in the top ten this week. Man, yeah. I think I am. Oh, yeah. I know. I don't know where Mr. Fun is, no? I don't know, no, no. I've passed my own on to uh, a second party. A third oh, party okay. is, is entering my scores. Well, well I you're just... Not doing very well. The you thing is... Yeah, else. but the thing is, it's it's almost unfair on everybody else if I actually do it. So. Why is it Why is it unfair on everybody else if you do it? Because there's only, there's only so many times yeah. you can get you can get them all right and, and you know, show up the rest of the league. So. You have no spirit of joining in, somebody else. on anything. I can't, could you imagine him being around in 1977 when we had the Queen's Silver Jubilee <laughs> and we had street parties and things <laughs> and people with buntings and flags? Could you imagine him sitting I'll in the corner? You, I'll give you a couple of shillings to go and get some bread. <laughs> Knock on my door on the day and we, there's big trouble. <laughs> I will watch it on my own. If I can be bothered. <laughs> no problem at all. Uh, going back to Jude. Pete Taylor at Jude's age. <clears throat> I was playing for two teams every week and training twice a week these days. Uh, I like Heineken. <laughs> 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 no, that's horrible lager. There are other better lager, surely. Not just Heineken. And uh, thanks from Steve Portman as well through uh, the Out Excessive Blues shout out there. Uh, right, on to Preston then. Predictions first. Um... 4-1 blows. Uh, are you saying that flippantly? or, or, or is, is 4-1 that, blows. Is, you asked for a it, prediction. I, I, asked, I asked for a prediction, but you went... 4-1 blows. That's, it, that's what I The body think. language, the shoulder shrug, it was just it just put me off a little bit, that was it's, all. It's oh, European flair. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get it from? 4-1. 4-1. 4-1. 2-0 blues. I'm going 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 2-0 blues, yeah. First goal scorer? Hey. Alvaro Jimenez. There okay. you go. I'll go. I'll go Marabti. Lee Camp. Jude. There <laughs> you go, go Jude. What do I win? But it's nice Nothing. to be able to go, you know, the Saturday after after another win. It's two wins. Yeah, boom. Have that. A home game. After. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. If we can, you know, get the momentum, keep the momentum going, mm. keep winning, and uh, see where we can finish up. Uh, lots of predictions coming in. Was a 2 0. Keep going if you would. Uh, I won't be able to read them all. Benji Smith 2 2. Mark Adams 1 1. Uh, Linda, 3-0 Blues, Jude, Hattrick. Oh, my goodness gracious me. On Green Monkey 2. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Steve Portman, my prediction for Blues versus Preston. I'll be there and we'll actually be able to see something. I don't know what that quite means. Uh, Ian Starks goes Harley. couldn't at Charlton. Oh, right. The right. disabled section it, was that's poor. poor. That's poor, if that happens. It was uh, surrounded by <clears throat> Blues fans. So obviously, all the Blues fans stood up, so they couldn't. They mm. couldn't see anything, so I think they need to look at where they position their disabled fans. Yeah, at absolutely. yeah absolutely. Yeah, just um, a right to watch the game. You know what I mean? Mm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Right, is it? No, no, no. Going back to Enkelman Day. Yeah, happy um, Enkelman Day to you. What are people's best personal memories? And also memories? to you. Uh, and where oh. were you? Where were you? What, yeah, what, what were people's best personal memories of, of that night? I mean, I where was, were you? I was there. I was in, <laughs> sat in the car in Block Twenty Eight. Right. And I, the best feeling <laughs> for me was when we were three 0 up, singing "Can We Play You Every Week," and I could feel the floor below me actually bouncing. It was just unbelievable. The atmosphere was unbelievable that night. I just got back from Florida and had just got into the pub. Um, Unusually for me, uh, just got just got back to the pub as uh, as the goal went in about two minutes later. So, yeah, so I was I was blessed to see it, even though I wasn't actually at the game and missed the game due to very poorly timed holiday. Mm. And yourself? Yeah, I was there, my season ticket seat. So um, yeah, we, we were saying before, I obviously you remember all the the goals as well, but I I remember quite at one 0 <coughs> at one 0 they were just starting to um. 
just well, starting to does, press a little bit. It doesn't look like we're going to have one of them each now, does it? <laughs> I was, they were just starting to get on top a little bit and they had a goal disallowed for offside. Yeah. And I thought, oh, this could be a, this could be a very nervy last 25 half hour here. Mm-hmm. Then Peter the decided to uh, score the world just let it go under him. So, yeah. <laughs> so that seat you were in, is that still the seat you're in now? No. Okay. No, no, no. no. Yeah, me neither. I've moved back. I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's time for Alphabetty Footy. Yeah. Do you want to draw this one, Mr. Foot? Oh, I don't mind. Yeah. I've won it. Did it. Well, I don't know what... Is that is that? That, that is a Z. Oh. It's Zigic. There you go. That's Z, this that's week's that, edition we can't, we can't get of Alphabet. We can't get a break Rose, with this, can we? Who invented this game? <laughs> Zigic, isn't it? You can tell he's not in charge of fun, can't you? You've got Zorato. <laughs> Moro Zorato. Okay. Okay, Paul. Good luck. You crack, <laughs> you crack on trying to suggest to everybody that Mauro Zarati gets in there ahead of Nicola Zagic. <laughs> yeah, go on. So I think we've got a winner on that one then. Yeah, I'll do. Should we do another one then? Move on. Yeah, no, do another <laughs> one. Do another one, one then. Yeah, do another one. Because we've already had that one on the page as well. <laughs> Ray, Pete Taylor, Zarati. You're on Mars. <laughs> Over Zigic. What we got? K. K. There we are. I'll start off with Howard Kendall. Might not be beaten. Kill hmm. Kenny. <laughs> oh, God's sake. <laughs> K. So. K it is then, unless anybody else can think of another one beginning with Z. Z- Ziggich has won it with Z. Z- so right, Ziggy on the back of that one. So, K. Uh, this week's letter is a letter K. Yeah, Marlon, really? Marlon, Marlon King. King. Marlon King, he was Marlon good. King. Yeah. A little controversial, so we say. Ian said, oh no, Zola. Uh, Zola didn't play that. Zola he? didn't play for Birmingham City. Andy Kennedy. Benzin. Yeah. Marlon King did. Yeah, Stephen Kelly. Stephen Kelly's a good shout. So you about Nah, it's got to be the first uh, surname. Surname. Surname's only. Yeah, Kendall's. How come we smaller? Just had a bit of a bit of a refurb. I'll be surprised if somebody comes up with a better option than Howard Kendall. Mm. Personally. Mm. So obviously Kuzak. Kushak, yeah, he won't about keeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing at times. Yeah. Kushak. <laughs> oh, get, uh, all you've got to do is share this to win a prize next week. We uh, will pull a petition out in a minute. Yeah, yeah, I've got one sorted. Okay, so we're all ready for And while we're talking about yesteryear, yesteryear, um, studio next. Are we allowed to say who it is? Come on, then. Yeah. You've put Phil, it on for Oh, you've put it on Facebook. Page, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. It's Phil Summerhill. Yeah. Phil Summerhill, who played in the uh, Trevor Francis days way back in the 70s. Outscored Trevor Francis in the Trevor Francis I think he was playing around then, so yeah. Yeah, 70s. Yeah. Like, like, uh, Alex, was, Alex. Was, can I just say, he was uh, top. Mm-hmm. What about Clifton Bell? Clifton Bell, yeah, that's a K. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Alex Turton says, was there a player called Cool, K-H-U-L, of the cool. 80s? Yes, yes. Martin, Martin Cool. Martin Cool, yeah. Cool, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a good player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was good Midfielder, wasn't he? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. A bit before my time, but I do remember him. Yeah. yeah. I remember him playing for Derby. I don't remember him playing for us, I've never heard of that one. No, I don't know Karofsky. Karofsky? Yeah, played on a yeah, Bruce. Karofsky, yeah. Oh, yes, he did, yes. American yes, striker. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah blimey. Czech Canadian striker. I thought he was American. Is he Canadian? Ooh. I thought he was American. Czech Keaton. Somebody Czech Google Keaton, it, Keaton, please. Yeah. I'm sure he was American. He's American or Canadian. Oh, I think he was American. I think he played for the USA, Canadian. actually. I remember, yeah. Scored a nice header against Everton in the Premier League and a nice goal away at uh, Full, uh, against Fulham. Fulham, I remember. That when we one. played at QPR's ground, yeah. I was there for that. Yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wasn't a bad player. It was all right. Just didn't stay long, did he? No. Happy Phil happy. Summerhill's mum was my dinner lady at school, says Brett Stanley. Right, there's a claim so to we'll have to Brett. write that one down to tell yeah, Phil exactly. next week because yeah. I bet Phil won't be able to sleep unless he hears that. <laughs> Jeff Kenner. Oh, Jeff Kenner's Jeff a great show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great player. Yeah, Martin Swinson. Somebody, Swin- needs, somebody needs to have an actual Google and, and have a watch of Harold Kendall play football. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is quite offensive. Yeah. Can- <laughs> Canadian says Alan Minnit. I did think. Yeah. Canadian was he? Karoski? No, and then a couple of people have said American. So I thought, he, I thought oh, it was like, American. Oh, dear, dear, dear. <clears throat> it's kicking off. Kingston. Anybody yeah. called Kingston? Yeah, a goalkeeper who played once. Yeah, and was yeah, yeah. useless. Yeah, he was awful. Yeah. So yeah. Buzz Rock put him into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I think Kennedy didn't play for the Blues. It's only fair. Yeah. Alan Kennedy. Yeah. Alan, what the Liverpool player? Andy Kennedy. Andy Kennedy. I was going to say, Alan Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy played for Liverpool. Kennedy, yeah, yeah and, uh, Andy Kennedy wasn't Andy it? Kennedy. He played when I started going. Uh, I know that nobody's listening. Or watching that specific game that's on TV tonight, but 
I've West Ham scored yet. <laughs> <laughs> it must be nil nil. I'm I sure we would have heard something by now. Yeah. I've gotten all of it, to be honest. <laughs> Check Knundo. <laughs> Brett. <laughs> Leave it out, lad. Leave it, it out. It is nil nil. Still nil nil. Yeah, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Linda Ensel saw Howard Kendall play, and yeah, so I did I. Quite a few times. And Bick says awful Kingston. So who would who would Howard Kendall as a player compare to in today's game? Oh, oh my God. God. Mm, that's a real difficult one. Don't know if she and could. What would he be worth? Like, uh, that is even more difficult. Yeah. Yeah. England international, wasn't it? <coughs> yeah. Oh golly heck! It'd be in the Premier League, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It'd be it's one better than that. Henderson. Um, Oliver Capo, that goal against Chelsea. Oh, that's a good shot. He was good. That was a great goal against Chelsea. And, and, I, th- and I thought, I thought we've got the greatest footballer I have ever seen. <laughs> at half time at Chelsea, I remember turning to my mate Tom and saying, "This kid is going to be an absolute star." And that was it. That's all we were. That's all we got out of him, really. He's got a few other goals, Your doesn't he? Mate, Tom. No, I'm not having it. He I'm did. not having it. Well, he did. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, statistically, you're correct. Yeah. But I'm not... No. I'm not saying he was a well-beater, but no. he, you know, he didn't live no. up to his expectation, did he? But he no, did, he did well, get a few nice like goals. I said that. That goal at Chelsea, that first 45 minutes, I yeah. thought, oh my goodness. Yeah. What have we got here? It was a rocket, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a screamer. Well, I can confirm after ooh, the first hour of the show that the CBD Green Monkey drink had uh, Let's go, yeah. no, no effects, okay. no effects, no side effects. It had um, an ill effect on itself. Why? Because it bubbled all out of mine. I'm concerned as why it all of a sudden started. It was frothing to about here. <laughs> not, not that. I mean... We gave you the special tin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basilios Caligaros. Caligaros. Who? That's great. No, no, From no, Dave no. Twine. No. Don't know who she played for. Howard Kendall's blues is Kevin De Bruyne, says so Richard Hyler. Kevin De Bruyne. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Nah. Not, yeah, well, I've, I've seen I some similarities. He, was, he wasn't a flair player. No, he no. Player. no. I don't think he's saying he's as good yeah, as good Kevin De Bruyne was, but he's mm. closest we ever had to him, maybe. Noel Kinsey from Paul Lilly. Anybody remember him? No. 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 And Paul versus Meredith as well. Or well, Paul V. Meredith. Noel Kinsey also. Hmm. Confirmation there. It is 0 0. Yeah, uh, what a shame. Come on, West Ham. Yeah. Uh, that green mon- monkey stuff was lovely, says Seaport, and take great taste. It really is. It absolutely is nice. Mm. I, would, I would definitely mm. have it again. Mm. You wouldn't? No. 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 He's blowing bubbles, ironically, tonight uh. as well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a bit of plastic shoved in the top. No! It was up here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, consider, uh, Lee will be at um, the women's um, cup match. Yeah, that's a blow, isn't it? I <laughs> know, oh, yeah. Because I'm monkey, not. With his green monkey. Okay. I'm not uh, there at the cup one, but I'll be there the week after. <laughs> yeah, uh, so if you are at the uh, the cup match, then look out for the cafe to you. Any women's match is yeah. always there, yeah. it would be over on the far side in the corner. It'll be next to Terry's burger van. You can get your coffees and your green monkey CBD. Mm. Mike Kelly, goalkeeper. I remember Alan Kelly, the goalkeeper we had on loan. Mm. Mike I don't Kelly, remember yeah, Mike yeah. Kelly. Yeah, yeah, Mike Kelly. He's from Moore area, I think. Ian Stark, would you say Kendall was similar to Ray Wilkins? No, I think we've kind of, kind of drawn a line there. A bit before, bit before Wilkins, weren't he? He was Wilkins a bit before was Wilkins, like, but very similar, Ken, yeah, yeah. very similar player. Yeah, yeah. Very similar player. Yeah, yeah, I would actually, yeah. Yes, yeah. you the, and Kev the, Kelly says Howard Kendall was the Mark Ward of his era. Mm. <coughs> mm. So I does he win it then? Else going on that on that K apart from Howard Kendall. I think it's disrespectful to put anybody else there. Yeah. I, do you know what? I think you're right. Yeah. I'm always right. Let's go that then. You're always right. Mm-hmm. Let's do that then. Okay. okay. Mr. Locked Mr. In Mr. Fun has locked himself in to the fact that he's always, always. right. Always. always right. I noticed earlier that Maureen Minute was surprised that I had a friend. Yeah. We're all surprised at that. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I was as well. Well, we'll, we'll go with associate rather okay. than friend. Okay. I don't want to get too carried away. I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> Lindsay wants to know what's the price of Green Monkey at the ground. 
Uh, Linda, I honestly don't know. Uh, well, Lindsay asked. Lindsay, sorry. So if you want to keep talking to Linda, that's fine. <laughs> Lindsay was the one who asked. I'm sure Lee can uh, yeah. confirm well, that if he's watching. Price just doesn't come in. Price no. is coming. Um, Kevin <laughs> Kelly says, has Peb done enough to lose the acting tag? Yeah, Kev, I said this earlier. Give him the title. Give him the, give him the free reign. Give him what he needs. Give him the tools that he needs to do the job because what we're starting is what promised to. Yeah? Yeah. I think we should give him a few more games. That's my opinion. Give him, a, give him another five or six games, and then if we're still, you know, where we sh- where we want to be, then yeah. yeah. Why are we even talking about? It? It's almost like you. I'm should there be should there yeah. be uh, even even a position of an, an acting permanent? <laughs> well, do we do we think with Gary Monk at Sheffield Wednesday there still could be some movements from our coaching staff to theirs? I'm not almost certainly. About, I'm not talking about Pep. Most yeah, almost certainly. certainly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think I, I put, before they offer him the role permanently properly, I think they'll they'll probably wait and see what happens with that. You know, there might be possibly, yeah. Yeah. Um, but obviously, they didn't know Monk was going to go to Sheffield Wednesday when they when they gave him no. caretaker, full time head coach, did they, sir? No. Um, yeah, I think I think as you say, it's, um, for his for his peace of mind as well. You know, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he'll have discussions with the board a hell of a lot more than anybody else. Mm. You know, and he'll know exactly what the board are thinking. But. Um, yeah, you know, from a press perspective, you know, just get get rid of that, mm. get rid of that, and say, okay, yeah, we're we're backing him. He's our man. Mm. Mm. He's certainly doing okay so far overall, isn't it? Results. And the way it? he portrays himself on the TV is very good as well. Mm. Quite quite impressed with that, his demeanour and his his manner and his mannerisms and one thing or another. Mm. Comes across quite dim. And a yeah, good, a good English speaker as well. Mm. Yeah, and I, I think um, that's that's. that's uh, important mm. I, I was media. I was informed by someone um, that when he was at Oxford um, he'd get his um, post-match interviews yeah. um, basically drafted out for him and sent to him before he went for his thing so he, he was basically Fluid yeah. what he, was say. he was basically yeah. being told what to say, yeah, 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 you know, by by his advisors, if you like. Um, whether that's still the case, I don't know. Um, obviously, some things he'll have to think on his feet for. You know, if somebody somebody asks him about Max Collan, you know, I don't think people have got time to to write a a long answer for every single player on the pitch. So um, there'll be some things he's got to think of his on his feet. Um, but as I say, I don't know whether that is still the case or not. Maybe he's, you know, he's more confident now to to, to speak to the press um, as as a head coach. So, um, but I, I think that was the case at Oxford. But yeah, you're, you're right though. He's he, he he puts himself across well. Um, always got time for the supporters. Always got make sure that. He's acknowledging the supporters and the players and, and the hard work that they're putting in. So mm. he's saying the right things he's, and he's doing the right things. I think his assistant's making a difference as well, isn't he, with all his experience? Yeah, that, well. you know, that'll help and it'll, yeah. give him, it'll give him someone to, you know, it's someone for him to bounce ideas off and, yeah. and have he calm as well, who's also been mm. on the bench as well. Mm. And, mm. and possibly Craig as well, Craig Gardner, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every part of that coaching staff will be bringing something to mm. to the table. Mm. Um, you know, and it's about working as a team, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Buzz Rock, anybody know why the pies are substandard this season? Pie Gate raises its head again. Mm-hmm. Buzz, I suggest what we do is get onto the Tilt and Talk page, go back a couple of weeks, and have a look for the pie video that we put together. Um, but the only reason Oscar we winning can, we can think of is that uh, it's due to cost. Even though the cost has gone up, the quality has gone down. Mm, definitely. And uh, Mark Adams, because <laughs> Stocktails had all the best ones. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> uh, BT has practically been gone for how long? Oh, for ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pep should uh, Pep should last. <laughs> if if this style, hey, look, we're not we're not league winners. We're not right. But if this style of football continues and the development, you never know. We might be able to push on saying another seat. I don't know. You never answer it at the beginning of the end up. You can, you can. But I think for me, the Championship's the most unpredictable <clears throat> league. You know, in English football, really, well, one of, and nobody this time last year would have said Norwich and Sheffield United for the top two. No, you know, so you just never know. Certainly you get, not Norwich, no. Once you hit that, um, 
once you hit that wave and you're on a good run, you know, you just you just don't know what can happen. You know, you don't know. You don't know where you're going to finish up. So I'm not saying I'm not sitting here saying we're going to win the league, but what I will say is stranger things have happened. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah and I mean, it says, have we got a quest tonight based on last week's comment? A quest? A quest. A quest. I'm not sure you're <laughs> sure My quest? Really. Quest. quest. My quest is to drink all these. Well, there you go. What's left in there? Well. <laughs> oh, he said that should have been. Uh, that I think missed. Oh. It must have missed the earlier comment. Uh, yep. Next okay. week. Next, next week, week is our guest. Yeah, he's coming uh, in next week. Mm. Uh, let's reread it again. Uh, have we got a quest based on last week's comment? Yeah, he means. He meant guest. So he, he meant guest. From yes. from last from last week's comments, yeah. Mm. And Stephen Gill just says, uh, "Can the women women's team steal by players?" No, the window is closed. When did the window close for that one? At the start of September. Okay, right. before the season started. Oh, oh. Um, interesting news from Paul Sterndale saying the pies were spot on at Charlton. Yeah, I did see uh, that. Yeah, not spot on at St Andrews. Just not. say uh, Greasy sells, Greenish on Lee the yellow, still nil nil. Well. Leaps. I don't. Lee sells. Ah, can't fight you. Sorry. Well. Yeah. Can oh, he yes. get down to St Andrews on a Saturday? What, on <laughs> the women's yeah, games? Yeah, yeah. Does he? Pucker pies in a bob roll. You're joking. No. With pepper. Pucker man. <coughs> right. Well. So what would we do? Would, would we make any changes to the team Saturday from last week? Or would you keep it the same? Up to yourself. Uh, would I change from the team on Saturday? Against Preston. Or would I keep it the same? Mm. Yep. I... I would make changes. Um, I think be I'd be inclined to go with the diamond, um, and I would play Sunjic, Crowley, and hmm. poor. It's a difficult one. It is a difficult one. Is, yeah. um, Same back four. I think keeper. I think I will go Davis. Yeah. Um, yeah. Same back four keeper, um, and then I'll go Jimenez and Duke <clears throat> with Jude lurking behind them. According to changes. several sources, the B six players are arguing amongst themselves. <laughs> Oh, well. This is a blue show. I know, but uh, so that, it's still, it's, I'll, I'll still bring you funny snippets of information. That's not right. funny. <laughs> so that's just one change, wasn't it? <coughs> that's that's um, that's Jimenez coming in for Morabso. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ray Hobro, twenty percent discount on hot dogs this week at Blues on fast pay only. On fast pay only, twenty percent off hot dogs. Don't eat hot dogs. What? what? No, I'm not keen. I'm, I'm not vegan. Keen on, no, I'm not keen on them. You're vegan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not really. I could not last. I could not last three seconds at pretending to be vegan. <laughs> I mean, come on! I seriously need to improve that. <laughs> Let me get a close up. Oh, uh, <laughs> dear, 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 dear. I don't know where do you get it from, mate. So a typical, it's just a typical inbuilt genius. I, I, I cooked. I must say, I cooked a beautiful curry on Saturday. Absolutely stunning. That's the information oh, that's for you. Yeah, fantastic. I, I could have, I could have, I, you know, I could have Switch, been Switch FM will be absolutely ecstatic <laughs> about that. <laughs> Stick that one on your podcast. <laughs> John Darwin. That's what Boyle Sports pay the big bucks for. <laughs> John Darwin is making a case for Magoma. He played very well when he came on on Saturday. Yeah, do you know, Magoma was the one I was con- contemplating yeah. because yeah. we could have gone Crowley right, Magoma left mm. on that diamond. Um, certainly something I wouldn't be adverse to, um, you know. But I think if you went Crowley, Magoma, Jude, Jimenez, and Duke, that's that's quite an attacking front six. Um, and I got a little bit scared. I got a little bit scared, so I went back to Davis. So, uh, but yeah, I wouldn't. I would not be adverse to see Magoma start at all now. Well, Siobhan Kenny says, what are your thoughts on David Davis? Do you think he'll, um, mm. he's still got the passion and the drive? Cause... Although I like him, him and he's involved in goals, he has gave a fair few away. Mm. I think he's certainly back to full fitness now, isn't he? He's, he's, back, he's recovered from that. I'm injury. not allowed to talk about David Davis because me and Tom Ross had a <laughs> scuffle <laughs> and had, almost came to blows over it last yeah, week. Pete so. Taylor says, if Ndoy could convince people... Yeah, he was a professional footballer. And to believe in he was a professional footballer, you could convince people you're a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I won't argue that. 
Kevin Kelly uh, says, Pete. Nick, get your glasses on. It's, it's not so much my glasses, it's, it's, it's scrolling to you. I'm going to buy an iPad because no, I can't see it. Oh, hang on, there we go. Brilliant. I think Davis is good at what he does. You know, he, he, he sort of puts out fires, then they similar to Sunich, though, so do we need two of them at home? That's the only thing that I, I think would Sunich say. Sunich is better on the ball than Davis at the yeah. moment, but and, and he's got that he's got that rangy... But then, when, when Davis is on it, yeah. this, is, this was the point I was making w- with Tom. Mm. Um... When David Davis is on it, he, he can he can do the same things that our midfielders can. There's there's mm. no dispute in that. Mm. Um, he's he's an energetic player. He's he's fit. He's strong. He's powerful. He can get up and down the pitch. Um, you know, against Stoke, he showed that he can he can play killer passes the yeah. way he did to Collan yeah. on the right hand side. Yeah. Um, I I personally don't think we've seen it enough, especially in home games, mm. from him. Um, but there's certain, you know, I'm not suggesting that he, you know, he should be out the side and he should be in, playing in League Two or anything like that. You know, that no. he is he is definitely worthy of a place in in the squad. Mm. Um, as I say, I go back to the start, the McEachern thing. Mm. If if it was me, I'd have McEachern in there. Mm. That that team I put out, I'd put McEachern in instead of Davis. Mm. Um, yeah, but that's you know that that that's just me. Um, but certainly, certainly Davis offers offers a lot more. Um, I don't think anybody could question his. What was the comment? Was Passion and drive. No, no, no questioning that at all for me. Because we've, um, Ga- we've got Gary Gardner as well, which who seems to be yeah, got the yeah, of a course, bit. yeah. You know, yeah. just a matter of keeping all these people fit throughout the season. Isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and happy and as well. Playing well, yeah. Happy, happy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, competition for the shares is coming up right now, so. Listen out for your name because it could be you. You've got to be in it to win it, so to speak. Why am I also? Why am I hearing an I echo did it last all week. the time? Oh, you did it last week. Yeah. Did it? I don't know. Why am I hearing an echo all the time, Sam? Man. Man. Can I hear that? The winner is Ricky Smith. Ricky Smith. There you go, Ricky Smith. Well done. Thanks for sharing last week, and you are the winner of some goodies. Please get in touch with Mrs. Brown. And he will have those. We are wearing them on our way to Thank you at his earliest convenience. No, you're not going inside. I've turned it down. Yeah, no. Thank you. What is it? Just your headphones? Yeah. No, it's just me. I was just repeating everything you said. I just wanted to drive you mad. I just, it was killing me inside. <laughs> I kept wanting to bring it up. What? For the last half an hour, I've it? been hearing everything I'm saying. Think... Two seconds after I'm saying it. <laughs> yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you have a quiet word? I can't. We're live <laughs> to the nation, <laughs> to the world, <laughs> to the world. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, so winner was a Ricky Smith. Get in touch, and you'll get a prize off to you. Okay, that's cool, isn't it? Mm. Oh, look, we're almost into the last fifteen minutes oh, of joy. the show. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, See you next uh, week. Uh, Ian Stark said, what's Marab? Marab's done wrong. Nothing. Nothing for me. Nothing. And he's the main one who gives us that. <laughs> Absolutely place. nothing. Mm-hmm. Just for me. That's that's the way I'm going. If we lose 3-0, then feel free <laughs> to have a go at me. But when we win 4-1, which I said we would do anyway, then <clears throat> you'll all be off my backs and calling me a genius. I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't, personally. I'd leave it as it is. Not to keep the same team, yeah. It comes up to me. Yeah. Nick, what would you do? Can, would you change it? Or would you the same? Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd tend to keep it the same. Yeah, me too. But, again, it's dependent on this um, this lad coming in. And if he's announced before Saturday, he could be a good shape. I don't know if he'll come straight in the starting eleven though, will he? No, no I, 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 doubt I, I doubt it. I doubt it very much. No. Yeah. I doubt it very much. Hmm. But it is good to get Mags back, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's that like Paul said, you know, which Marabti offered us on Saturday. Both of them offer us a little bit more pace than than other people do. Um, you know, and it, and it is that something else for defenses to worry about. If Duke's up front on his own, it's so easy to defend against him because yeah. make sure he doesn't win anything. Put three defenders on him if you want. Yeah, make sure he doesn't win anything in the air. 
you know, and and and, that, and that's how you stop us. Whereas if you've got Magoma one side or Morabti one side, if you've got Duke lurking, uh, Jude lurking just off him, if you've got Crowley keeping the ball, in, you know, in their half, then then we're a side that are much more difficult to defend against. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carl Fields has any statement from the uh, club re- reference to the pies? Nope. And they've got no right, no need to. Mm. If they want to change the supplier and put the price up, that's up to them. Uh, Andrew Cash much prefers but remember, the old camera angle. Oh, with the old studio. Yeah, yeah. agrees. Andrew Cash I preferred think the old camera angle. I think I'm inclined to agree. Me too. The, the one with uh, the, the one Sky with Sports the, studio. the studio. Other sporting no, 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 subscriptions no, 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 are available. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> Into the last 15 minutes we go, and it's anything to you with uh, what you would find inside a butcher's shop and the surname of a footballer. Anything to do with the inside of a butcher's shop and the surname of a footballer. Terry Butcher? <laughs> it's my fault. You've got to move away from me. I'm just moving out of the door. <laughs> oh, he wants a front-on view. Oh, Andrew does. Like he oh. doesn't want the studio. He just wants it full frontal. He wants to look at you and me? Well, obviously. Just you. Who wouldn't? Just you. Yeah, it's... <laughs> okay. Get this in. That's a good one, Mike Graham. Jack Pork. Jack Pork. Uh... This is where my uh, newly discovered vegan morals are put to the test. What about Paul Mintz? Ooh, Michael Chopper. <laughs> oh, sport, Sky Sports News View he's on about, Andrew Cash. Yeah, the front... Uh, that, yeah. That, yeah, the studio. So we've got Terry Butcher, Chopper Harris. You're really happy, aren't you? Huh? There aren't... There are so few things that I hate more than the <laughs> So, so few. Jake Livermore. Famine. Come on, Jake Livermore. How long have we been doing it for? Famine. How long has it been in the I show? prefer this to famine <laughs> and knife crime. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else in the world, I prefer to this last 15 minutes. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. I know you don't mean that. I prefer child poverty to the last 15 minutes. Uh, Buzz Rock says, who put your cameras in? Because you're all perfect for radio. Thanks, Buzz. Uh, <laughs> Mince Oberson, Paolo One Chomp, <laughs> Hotter Chocolate. Andy, I don't know where that one come from. I'm sure you know Benji Smith wrote it. Andy Leg of Lamb from Linda, Linda Enza. <laughs> Jack Tripe Greenish. <laughs> Bit harsh. No, not <laughs> oh dear 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 uh, Kevin Mintz Botang Chris Pugh do you think Pep will be our manager post January I think Ren has got something up his sleeve now that is a serious question Um, while all this humour is going on oh yeah all the humour so much humour can't move for humour um, I hope so I hope so um, because he's a decent bloke um, and and I think he is learning, and I think you know the the team are learning, um, and the fact that we're picking up results. If we keep doing that, it would be a real shame to mm-hmm. to lose that based on that based on something Ren yeah, wants to yeah. do. Um, you know, we, we obviously we had it with Rabbit, and and we had it with Monk in the summer. Both both went for the reasons they went, but. The overriding feeling as supporters was with I think with both of them was that it was a a missed opportunity that we didn't get to see what could have happened with with both of them given the given the backing that they could have got um and i think I think this is obviously again seven games in you know I don't want to get too carried away or anything but at the moment, it would feel like a very missed opportunity if yeah. something were to happen now. Mm. That that we wouldn't actually be able to see what would, the, you know, this the end result of this this this, yeah. this thing come to fruition, if you like. Mm. Very similar to Rabbit and Monk. So mm. I hope I hope he is. Yeah. Yeah. Me mm. too. Yeah. Uh, Tony Hurley, most alarmy. Um, <laughs> John Downing, Tom Cleverley. That's a clever one. Mm. Uh, Richard Hayler says Joe Hart. Andy Legolam, <laughs> Nick Rawson, that's a period. Andy Legolam. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, Linda Enza did say it earlier as well, I said it earlier. Uh, <laughs> Stefan Liverson. We've got uh, Neil Hudson saying Streaky Beckham. 
Barry Venison from Paul Lilly. That's a good one. Alex Ox laid Chamberlain from Mike Graham. Uh, Gary Rump from Pete Taylor. Uh, Chickeny Ken Chickeny Burns. Chickeny Burns. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Jake Livermore We've done that one. Do, 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 do. Ian Stark has just said if Monk was still here. We do you know what, Ian? You. And I, I, I wrote that on Facebook the other day as well. Um, the young Jude Bellingham was the little lad, right, and his dad who exposed the allegations against Gary Monk, and there's every chance that Jude Bellingham wouldn't allegedly. Be allegedly. That's why. That's why I said allegations. Allegations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you actually said who uncovered the allegations. As though, yeah, but it's an allegation, not not a proven fact at that point, as far mm. as I'm concerned. Right, okay, but all right, allegedly. Thank you. You have to be very careful with your words. Ab- absolutely. Otherwise, houses might be burnt down. <laughs> <laughs> and we may well have not seen that player ever in a blue shirt. Well, it's all hindsight, we'll never know. Of course it is. And, and, and we'll the, never know. The fact is, he's made two starts and scored two goals. Yeah. End of. Mm. He's now the youngest scorer at Birmingham City Football Club. Yeah. But uh, Stephen Carcass... <laughs> To Keith Farhey, Jeff Horsemeat, Chris Mutton. No, that's a good one. Have you done this for the last 15 minutes for nine years? Roman, no. no. Roman Sawyer's. No, no. Do you think I'd have stayed? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Jude Bellingham and Veal Kilkenny. Veal Kilkenny. That's a good one. But you can't wait for Christmas, can you? That's good. Huh? No, I hate Christmas. I know. I know how much you hate Christmas. You hate you hate the gifts I get you every year. I spend so much of my time searching for something nice and kind for you. And then you just pull your face. Mandy Irvin has just become... He's a shot, comfortably shot, into my top five favourite people of all time. Go on. You can read it out, Paul. I hate this part of the show. <laughs> Let's talk about football. <laughs> That's Mandy Irvin. And then the next, the next comment is... Chicken steak. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, belly ham. <laughs> Long live Mandy. We need, to, we need a couple of polls, don't we? I think. Um, studio, what, what studio? And also, last 15 minutes, or no, last 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I think debate. we do. I think we've we had do. that debate every week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put and, a poll. And, and I guarantee you, I'll tell you a now. Lot of people like I it. will tell you now. Everybody hates the last 15 minutes of this show. Everybody. But the one thing they hate more is me. (laughs) (laughs) So the fact that they know that I hate it means that they'll suffer it. (laughs) Just to see me suffer. Just to see you suffer. I've got a bit of weak, haven't I? Dear me. Oh, God, buy me, mate. The one thing they hate more is me. Don't worry, everyone. I know it's true. It's fine. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, right. right. Mm. Uh, Alan Ains cow. Yeah. <laughs> that was from the Blues Collective. Cherry yeah. rib, rib bit. <laughs> Pocky pies. <laughs> Everybody does hate you, don't they? They really oh. do. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Kelly just said you can't change the studio that Chris has built. No, you can't. <laughs> That's oh what God. you're going to get now. Until we get our new background, I've been promised. That's what you're going to get. Which won't be too long away now, will it? No, no. Right now. <laughs> Pete Taylor has just joined Mandy Irvin in my top five favourite people of all time. Decent oh, company. He's put, <laughs> I think we should change the format. And just have Mr. Fun for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> you will go home. We'll go home. And I'll yeah. just have a chat to myself. Have you got a rant of the week this week? Has anything got to me this week? Yeah, what's, what's grinding your gears? Has gear? anything got to me this week? What a question. Oh, well, yeah, because ev- <laughs> things get to me every half hour. So, yeah, some of it's bound to have got to me. Uh, off the top of my head, um, I can't think. Okay. I will think of one for next. Anyone mention Christmas? Well, he mentioned <laughs> Christmas, doesn't he? Which is frustrating. It's my birthday, Christmas Day. Sky, Sky, sacking David Gower. Yes. Not fussed about both of them going, right? Because for me, both of them has been, <clears throat> has been 
his, mar- his heart's not been in it so for a couple of years now. So you're not willing to have the last 15 minutes, but you're willing to talk about cricket on the Birmingham City football You asked me show. what has got to me. That's got to me. <laughs> that was a class act. I think both improved. He won't bother with his dress sense, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Yeah. But Gower is... Gower is a class... Yeah. Gower leads that. Yeah. He's a class act. Yeah. It's going to be like Planet Earth without David Attenborough. And if it's Imagine Ian Ward, I'm not watching again. Right, Kev Kelly says, Chris Pugh, if you had the option to sing a longer pew as opposed to the comical last 15 minutes, would you? <laughs> what, what was the option? The last Chris 15 minutes or what? If you had the option to sing a longer pew. Sing, sing a longer pew. pew? What's that? that sing it along with you. I I so a song comes a song. on, I have to sing it. I'll do that. You'll sing for 15 minutes. I'll sing for 15 to... minutes, yeah. A 15 minute song. <laughs> yeah. Just Kev French song. I went to watch The Lion minutes. King on... On Saturday, I'll sing Lion King songs for the last That's 15 minutes next week. Really. It's a great film. Nah. Off you go then, quick it's rendition. You've got two, two minutes. You've got two no, minutes. I'll uh, tell you the greatest. <clears throat> do you want to know the best? Apart from the fact that um, The Lion King is the greatest story ever told, which it is. It's a true story. It's, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an absolute sensation. But apart from that, um, do you, know, you know the bit in The Lion King? Everyone's seen The Lion King, yeah? Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, For a few oh, years. Cool. I'm not yeah. talking to idiots here, am I? No. no, no I'm not seeing the new talk, one. Talking to sensible, normal people, yeah. I've seen the old was, cartoon probably about... It was, the old, it, was, it was in the old one as well. But when he's... Mm, do I give the spoiler away? You're you to give the spoiler alert. If, you're, if you don't, you don't know don't the story of The Lion King, A, what have you been doing with your life? B, <laughs> just have a look at something else for a minute. Um, the bit, towards the end, when... He gets through the scar, um, and and everything's on fire. And then it starts raining, and it starts raining, and it's really emotional because all the rain's coming down, and it's putting the fire out, and all all the animals are coming back out. And then and then Simba takes his, what he's walking up, walking up the the rock to take his place at the head of Pride Rock where he belongs. Yeah, wait, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and the music's playing and the rain's coming down and he's walking up and everybody's looking up at him. It's one of the most emotional moments in a film. Jonathan Grimes beef. Sebastian Lard song. <laughs> I'm glad we got back to this. <laughs> Hi Callum, That's it's me from earlier who messaged me you. Me explaining my favourite bits from popular films. Right. There you go. Blake Tracy, good show again, lads. Keep right on. Jonathan Graham's beef. We've just had that one. Kev French has fallen asleep. Mark Andrews Adams has fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Boyle uh, Sports. Kev Kelly, I think Boyle I'm, Sports. I, I think you I'm, tell me that me, in the last 15 minutes, describing, <laughs> describing the best bits of my favourite films is better than this nonsense. Kev Kelly, I think I am for the last 15 minutes over The Lion King. <laughs> Tony Hurley, E. Veal, Esky... Uh, changed my mind for the last minute's 15 as it was <laughs> hi, <laughs> Richard hi to Callum. anything to do with the Lion King and footballers next week for the last 15 years <laughs> <laughs> Richard thank you thank I mean, you got to do that <laughs> got to do that right okay so uh, get, get watching Simba I'm sure in the Phil week. Summerhill will be absolutely buzzing this week he might, he might have a few answers he'll be you watching never know. this and he'll be going right I've got all <laughs> week to think of footballers <laughs> with, to do with the Lion King I can't wait <laughs> Mark Andrew Adams your last 15 minutes we called Pew at the Movies <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 Kenny, my daughter's name's on the second line, King Kiara. Oh, that's sweet. Nice. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. phrase. <laughs> oh, dear. Jerry G- Giblets or oh, Port Loin Chaps. We've had that one. Chris, I thought you... A lifeline. I threw your lifeline and you blew it. Oh, no, dear I disagree. Boy. I disagree. I think I took it with both hands. Peter Elson movies, the pew view. <laughs> <laughs> I must warn you, I don't watch many movies, so a lot of it could be Forrest Gump repeated. But and Kevin, Cren- Kevin French. What, Green Monkey. It's Kevin French. French. Pork Lion King. Pork Lion King. That's quite clever, isn't it? It's not football. Pew's line, is it? I know. Pew's line, is it anyway? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good that's one. What a clever lot out I here, tell you what, they? you could do that with so many songs, by the way. Because Pew rhymes with you. Yeah. yeah. So many yeah. songs replace the word you with Pew. It's a, it's it's one of my favourite subjects to do. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I wait for Emily to go to bed and I'll just go downstairs, and I'll put my Spotify on and I'll just sing along and replace everything that rhymes with you with Pew. 
just for myself for half hour. That's fun. Gives me a great feeling. We're so happy following you. <laughs> <the pew. laughs> following the pew. <laughs> we love pew. What more can we say? There you go. Stuck on pew. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I can't help falling in love with Pew. <laughs> <laughs> that is oh. I've got Pew under my skin. Let's <laughs> <laughs> keep going. That's Pew. great. Pew, Pew, Pew really got me. Yeah. <laughs> I love hey, Pew, Pew, babe. Hey, Pew. <laughs> well, it's been another one. Day. That last, last 15 minutes there was. Magical. It's lovely. Oh. It's lovely. Apart from the bit where we were doing awful <laughs> jokes about butchers, oh, 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 every pew. other bit was brilliant. Pew <laughs> Boy Association is okay though. Isn't it? <laughs> I got Pew Bay from Mark Andrew Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Never going to give Pew up. Can you tell him? Pew really got me. Tell me that this isn't better than that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We'll do it next week for the last 15. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, as many times as we can. So you got your own way now, Chris. Well, this has been the Talk, Talk Show. It's been a Monday night, as always. Every Monday here, 7.30 through till 9. Tomorrow night on Switch FM. Thanks to Ball Sports, our principal sponsor, Captain to you, Solid Hall. SAS Autos, uh, Munchies Cafe in Alton. And, and everyone. Boards, the, and the, the everyone in the world. Everyone in the world. That yeah. rhymes with Pew. That means you. That you means to me you. are everything <laughs> the sweetest. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard you sing. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Mr. Pew Sky? Yeah. I'm happy with that. Please, let's go. It can be done. Can you, can you put one on the top of So we can just get as many songs as we can. Maureen Minnit says we're sad. You're sad, Maureen. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you to everybody tonight, everybody in the world, apart from you, Maureen. <laughs> please don't, please don't. You be careful of that house burning. <laughs> don't, 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 no, 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 you shouldn't say that, really. really. <laughs> All right, we had a little bit of fun. Now it comes to serious stuff. It's Saturday, it's Preston. Let's get there, let's be loud, let's be proud. We are Birmingham City, it is St Andrews. We keep right on, we go again. Let's try and get another win. But I tell you what, our home support has to get like our away support. It really needs to be a hostile place. See you all there. Take care. Thanks, Mrs. Pew. Pleasure. That rhymes with Mr. Pew. No, it doesn't. Yeah. All right, okay. <laughs> Genuinely <laughs> doesn't. Mr. Sheen. Thank you. Good night. And Mrs. Brown. <laughs> and from me, good night. God bless. Take care and be safe. See you all Saturday. Sheen on me. <laughs> <laughs>